Why are women more likely than men to get urinary tract infections or UTIs? Why is it when we talk about UTIs, we're mostly talking about women? And this is a real thing, guys. More than half of women will have at least one UTI at some point in their life. Not only that, women do get more UTIs, up to 30 times more often than men. So the question I'm going to answer today is why? Why are we as women more at risk for UTIs? And guys, there is a very solid reason for this that's based on our anatomy, etc. cetera. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what the urinary tract is, okay? Super important to keep this in mind. The urinary tract consists of the urethra, the bladder, the ureters, and the kidneys. So this is the whole sort of urinary tract. And by the way, infections can occur anywhere along this tract, multiple places along the tract, etc. okay? So keep that in mind. This is what we're talking about when we talk about the urinary tract in general. And um, there are a number of symptoms, by the way, that can happen, as you probably know, with urinary tract infections. I have a whole different video about that. DM me if you'd like that video or make sure you check below. I'll put it in the comments as well. Let's go to this image, okay? This is the bladder and the urethra. That urethra is that tube uh, that comes out of the bladder where urine comes out of your body. That's where you pee out of for men and women. One of the reasons that women get more uh, UTIs is because that urethra, you see that little tube, is shorter than a man's, okay? And let me just explain a little bit more. Let me tell you where that urethral opening is so you kind of know where it is on your body. It's a tiny hole that you pee out of, as I mentioned. It's located below the clitoris, and then the vaginal opening is right below your urethral opening, okay? So that's sort of the order of things. But if you can imagine, because that urethra is short and because it's located next to the vagina and the clitoris, it's an easy way for bacteria from other places to get in to uh, the urethra and then up to the bladder and cause a urinary tract infection. Also keep in mind that the urethra is relatively close to the anus as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on down there, ladies and gentlemen, for women, in particular, it's one of the reasons why bacteria can easily get into that urethra, which is short to begin with, and sort of travel up into the bladder and other parts of the urinary tract. This is the thing. There are other risk factors for um, urinary tract infections as well. Um, recent sexual intercourse, um, a history of UTIs. Also, um, women who use spermicide, uh, spermicide coated condoms or diaphragms or things like that um, can um, uh, have potentially an increased um, urinary tract infection risk. And then other conditions can make women, also men, I should say, at risk for urinary tract infections. That's things like diabetes, other structural or functional, uh, functional urinary abnormalities. Okay. So guys, there are very real reasons why women are at increased risk for UTIs and why we have them more often than men. I hope this is helpful. If you suffer from UTIs, UTIs. By the way, I'd like you to write in the comments, you know, if this video was helpful, um, you know, if this is something that you deal with, just kind of your story if you'd like to share it, because oftentimes what you share helps other people. Please also share this video with other people that you think might benefit from it. I am Dr. Jen Cottle. Um, check out my other videos. I do all sorts of videos on lots of health things. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Please like and follow my page. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, uh, consider joining my subscription groups. They're exclusive groups where you can get like fireside chats and all sorts of extra stuff. Um, lots of fun. And then I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and I said Tic Tac, Tic Tac, and all those other platforms at Dr. Jen Cottle. Also, make sure you go to my website, drjencoddle.com, to check out my free health newsletter. All right, guys. Love y'all.